The central government in India has now notified a new law. And according to this new law, any Indian citizen will now be able to purchase land in the Union Territory, the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the central government in its release has stated that the order will be called the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Third Order 2020. Now, with this order, the Ministry of Home Affairs has now repealed about 12 state laws as a whole and others out of the 26 that have been adopted with changes. Now, remember, before the repeal of Article 370 and also Article 35A, which had granted a special status to the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, no individual who did not have a, who was not from the state of Jammu and Kashmir could purchase immovable property in Jammu and Kashmir. However, that now changes and people from the rest of India will now be able to go forth and purchase land pretty much anywhere they want in the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. However, there is one caveat. This decision does not allow for the transfer of agricultural land for non-agricultural purposes, including for setting up of educational and health facilities. Now, this decision, of course, has not been welcomed by the state's politicians who have said that with this, the central government has actually put up the state of Jammu and Kashmir, the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, up for sale. And they've also said that it ends the exclusivity of Jammu and Kashmir. Remember, Article 370 had been de-operationalized in 2019 on the 5th of August it also had been done along with the bifurcation of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir where the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir was reduced to a union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the union territory of Ladakh co-presented by Skoda simply clever